If you wanted more giant ape on Godzilla action, have I got a story for you. Hey, hey, that's right, friends. We're going to talk a little bit about Godzilla X-Kong, not V-Kong. Z-Kong is the next move. That's right. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. We're going to talk about Godzilla X-Kong getting greenlit for a sequel. And not only that, they've attached a writer. Once you see who this writer is, you're going to say, why am I agreeing to this? Why did we sign up for this? I don't know. As you may or may not know, I did uh, catch Godzilla X-Kong. I liked it. It's not the world's greatest movie, but I enjoyed it. I do enjoy some monkey-on-monkey violence. I like it when tiny monkeys are used as clubs to beat other monkeys. And if you don't like that, then you are clearly just a hater. Just drinking that hater aid. But what we did have was, uh, you know, some mindless monster violence on violence it was fine it was fine let's take a look at the article godzilla x kong enlists shang chi scribe david callahan to write now if i remember correctly shang chi can't even get a sequel so why would we agree to have this guy write it that sounds like a little bit of a bad idea now <laughs> they'll call this uh Godzilla of Z Kong, the new new empire, because it's so many empires that we don't even know that there's an empire. And I know, I'm teasing. I'm making fun of Godzilla X Kong because it was a silly movie. And we need silly movies every once in a while. We can't always be serious. You know, some people are like, oh, your children deserve better movies like Jaws. I wouldn't let a child watch Jaws. So when it comes to monster movies, if I want to see like another, a, a tiny gorilla be used to smack another monkey in the face, then I, sh- I, w- I will watch said movie and have children in the theater laugh at it as I watch it. Um, the, so, so far, Godzilla X-Kong has made $555 million, which is good. Very good. Good enough to earn a sequel. And you know what? When we don't get the the legendary monster verse, you know what we, we? I'm gonna just say this, and it might be controversial. We don't get things like Godzilla minus one because if legendary doesn't make money and pay Toho, there's no guarantee that Toho doesn't just say, "Yo, we ain't got the budget. We got to put Godzilla back in the box. No more Godzilla for like ten years." They've done it in the past, so why wouldn't they do it now? I'm okay with Legendary subsidizing more, you know, Godzilla Minus Ones, right? Godzilla Minus Ones budget was like $18 million. They probably paid, this last movie paid directly for Godzilla Minus One. Just want to tell you that, folks. You might not like it, but it's true. Uh, this might be the most profitable of all the movies of the five in the series, and it it only cost $135 million to make, you know, unlike Godzilla Minus One, which cost $18 million and looks probably better than this movie. Oh, let's just keep them monster juices flowing. Adam Wingard directed both Godzilla X-Kong, or Godzilla vs. Kong and Godzilla X-Kong. He wants to do a trilogy. We've talked about that in previous videos with my man... Giga Blast, check out his channel. I'll link our video there, and you'll see. I, I will add him in this video, so you can see his opinion on this type of stuff. So Adam Wingard wants to come back, but he does not have a his writing partners in place. He wrote uh, the original stories with Simon Barrett and Terry Rossio, but they want to do something different. They want to hire this guy. And, uh, I mean, he did get early story credit for 2014 Godzilla, which is fine. It's fine. I don't know. Uh, They're also saying, uh, they're also pointing out that Monarch Legacy of Monsters, which I didn't see because I don't have Apple TV, got 
a second season. And I've heard mixed things about it. Some people said it was good. Some people said it was bad. Callahan is known for the Ex Expendables franchise and the 2021 Mortal Kombat, which I didn't mind. And Wonder Woman 1984, which could be the worst written thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And he also co-wrote Spider-Man Across the Universe. Is that the one I don't like? Beyond the Spider-Verse? There's some Spider-Verse movies. Oh, that's the second one? Yeah, I don't like the second one. The first one's fine. Second one, I had no plot, and I didn't like it. And it was clearly clickbait for another movie. And we don't know if he's current. I guess he's currently writing the third and final film, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, with Phil Lord and Chris Miller. I don't know why you would hire the Shang-Chi guy. Shang-Chi, I don't... Okay, here's what I remember about Shang-Chi. I remember that there's a butt-faced wing thing that flies around. I remember there's a forest, the, a, a man-eating forest. I don't know if it actually ate men, but it, I'm going to assume it was a man-eating forest. I'm going to say that they... What else? I remember Aquafina being kind of annoying. I remember the best and only action scene that I remember was the bus getting cut in half. And other than that, I, I don't I don't remember any other action scenes. Some about a dragon and some arrows. Aquafina being real good at shooting arrows or something. I don't know. Some rings were involved. You tell me in the comments below what happened in Shang-Chi because I don't remember. And the only thing I remember about Wonder Woman 1984 is that they brought back a dead man so that he could take another man's body so that he could use another man's body to take advantage of Wonder Woman's body, but she was doing it forcibly. And there was <laughs> some flavor of grape in there that I don't think is good for anybody. And he's writing Disney's live-action Hercules. is like, what? Who's hiring this guy? I mean, maybe he's not the worst guy in the world. Why should I talk smack on... A guy who's wrote a bunch of dingleberries. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Well, you know what? Good for him. Good for him. I am... I am not... Not feeling real hot on this. Not feeling real hot on this. Uh, again, let's look at his credits. His credits are... Uh, Oh, yeah, a lot of Expendables. If you're a big fan of the Expendables, you got him to thank because he wrote Expendables, Expendables 2, Expendables 3, Expendables 4. Did he write Expendables 4? Yeah, Expendables 4. So if you like all those movies, I was under the... Well, you know, maybe you can't blame him for Expendables 4 because... Uh, I heard that one got chopped up because of contract negotiations and, and like characters just disappear and then reappear. I really, I don't know. I, I might be in the minority, but I really hate Spider-Man Across the Universe. I don't mind the first one, but that second one, bleh, I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. But the good thing is we're getting a sequel and that means more money goes to Toho and more me that means more money for the big G to get more movies. So I'm okay with all of these things. I think those are all positives. What do you think? Do you think that this is a positive? I mean, yeah, you know, give me give me some Space Godzilla. That's what I'm looking for. And no no more these original these new monsters. I guess they just don't like licensing the old ones because you know they might have to throw like a million dollars to Toho. Come on, use an oldie. We could take it, folks. We could take it. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Catch us. Uh, we do have a podcast. You can see well, you can listen to it on iTunes. You can also catch our live stream Friday nights, 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And like and subscribe. I always forget to do that. I watch a video and I go, I should have liked it. Then I should have subscribed. I'll never find that channel again. And this is one of the best. Our views will kill you. But as for myself, I am on to the next one.